as is basically always the case, I really enjoyed Veronica's brotherly love. I didn't feel like this episode of Veronica's Closet had as much substance or as much humour in it than the eight previous episodes, but that's not to say I didn't like it. It's the ninth episode, and in this one, Veronica meets Olive's brother. And this is Griffin, played by Eric McCormack, and Veronica basically begs Olive to set her up on a date with her brother, and Olive's very hesitant. She pretty pr pretty well predicts how she thinks Veronica's going to respond to this, but eventually, reluctantly, she agrees. And Griffin really enjoys his date with Veronica, and he feeds this back to Olive. Olive's very excited. She's, you know, imagining what it would be like to be sisters with Veronica. Veronica's not exactly happy with how things went, and she doesn't know what to do for the best, because she doesn't want to prove to Olive that Olive was right about how she'd respond, and she's not entirely sure what to do with it, and she takes some pretty drastic action, some of which is quite funny. The teddy bear scene I rather enjoyed. And it's a, it's a pretty decent narrative. I feel like Josh in particular had some, as is usually the case, he had some brilliant dialogue. I often find that Josh and Olive are my two favourite sources of comedy, other than Veronica, of course, um, brilliantly played by Wallace Langham and Catherine Najimy, of course. And those aspects of it I rather enjoyed. I wasn't too bothered about the narrative. I felt like it was maybe a little bit predictable. But that doesn't mean it was boring. It just wasn't as fascinating or as well written as some other episodes. I feel like it was lacking something. It maybe needed a stronger B plot because there wasn't really much else going on. Whereas previous episodes have a lot more threads that kind of weave together. Some of them are left dangling, but that's fine. But this one just felt like it wasn't, there wasn't enough substance. But it was still quite entertaining, still quite funny, some great dialogue. Griffin was relatively interesting as a character. So. I liked it, but it's definitely not the quality of a lot of the previous episodes.